A new study conducted right here in San Antonio looked at what makes one person more likely to have a severe COVID-19 infection over another. That's been a confusing part of this pandemic. Some COVID patients have little or no symptoms at all, while others are dying from the illness. So why? Today, I talked with two doctors, part of a team that set out to try to answer that question. And what they found could have implications well beyond COVID. It all has to do with paying attention to our immune systems before there's a problem. In order for us to understand who was very sick, we needed to understand why people were not that sick. The study looked at 522 COVID-19 patients at the local VA hospital, a joint effort between the South Texas Veterans Healthcare System and UT Health San Antonio. They measured a patient's immune system, looking at certain kinds of T cells that fight infection and genetic markers unique to that person. The immune system was given a score, one through four, one being the best, four the worst. What we found was their baseline score, so however they presented on day one, um, prognosticated what would happen 30 days later, you know, 90 days later in, time, in terms of their survival or other complications. It's a concept called immunologic resilience, basically how strong an immune system someone has. Yet if you went to your doc and you said, you know, uh, you know, something's wrong with my blood pressure, you know, you can measure it. You said, how's my immune system? You know, how's my immune health? You know, there would be nothing to measure that with at this point. Women had better immunologic resilience than men in the study, and age was not always a determining factor. We have seen people 18 years old doing very poorly. So our immune system was bad on 18 years old. And we have seen people 80 years old that have done great. The study points to the idea that some of us have weaker immune systems than others for a variety of reasons. And if we could gauge our immune health before there's a problem, we could know who is more susceptible to illness. And in the case of COVID, who among us needs to take more precautions? I think that's really the way to personalize medicine. So how do you boost your immune system? You've heard about things like vitamin C or zinc, but Dr. Lee told me today, if you don't have a deficiency in something like that, taking a supplement doesn't do much good. That's where testing the immune system would come in. They did find, however, that people's immune system scores could rebound after a COVID infection.